Today we're going to talk about uh, viewing your cable modem levels uh, on a Motorola Surfboard modem. Um, Motorola Surfboard modems, most of the newer ones, any of the ones made in the last five years, have an internal uh, web page where you can view all your levels. Um, if you're familiar with uh, your, uh, your internal pages, like on a, on a router, it's kind of the similar thing. Um, except this will actually show you all your cable modem levels and kind of help you to troubleshoot if maybe if you're having problems uh, with your modem, you know, dropping offline or, you know, that type of thing. Or if you're just kind of curious and want to know how to uh, interpret these levels. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and open up a web browser window. Um, you can use Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever. I'm using uh, Google Chrome. Um, and you're going to want to go to uh, 192. Dot one sixty eight dot one hundred dot one. And what that's going to do for you here is that's going to open up the uh, internal diagnostic page um, on your modem. And when you get into that, the page that you're going to be interested in um, is going to be the signal uh, page. So you're going to click, click on the signal button here at the top. Um, now mine, uh, just to let you know, mine has some extra stuff here because I um, actually also subscribe to telephone with uh, with my cable uh, cable company, so we're not gonna really going to worry about that today. Um, it's pretty much all the same. Uh, but if you go and click on the uh, signal link here, what that's going to do is that's going to bring up uh, once again all your signal levels. Um, uh, so the the ones that you're interested in um, are going to be your um, signal to noise ratio, uh, your power level. This is your downstream power level from your uh, cable company. That's right here. And the last one that you're worried about or you want to look at is going to be your upstream power level. And this is the level that uh, the, the signal gets that gets sent back to your cable company. Um, so first off, we'll, first off, what we'll look at here is your signal to noise ratio. Uh, now mine is at a 38. And 38 is, is pretty good. Uh, you, you want to have uh, that number be probably uh, uh, you know above 35 is what I would say so 35 on up is a is a good number um, anything below that below a 35 you know thir maybe lower 30s in that area you, you are going to see some problems where your modem will start dropping offline um, and, and usually what uh, it, you know signal to noise just like it sounds is, is basically your signal compared to the noise on the actual line itself um, as your noise or, or that type of thing, you know, start to, to increase, that, that number is going to drop down a little bit. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to look at is your uh, power level, um, and that is your um, downstream power level from your cable company itself. This is what they are, are sending you, and that's, uh, you know, anything that you're downloading, that type of thing. Um, now, right now, my level is a, 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 is at a positive 4 decibel level. Um, that's pretty good. Um, it's it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, generally, you're going to want to have that number be anywhere from a negative 15 to a positive 15. Um, anywhere outside that range, you're definitely going to start seeing problems. Um, it's not to say that your modem won't work necessarily, but chances are your performance is probably going to suffer if it's not within that range. And once again, that's um, negative anywhere from negative uh, 15 to positive 15. Um, the other one that you want to look at here is going to be your uh, upstream power level. Now your upstream power level is the one that probably will cause you the most problems. Um, a lot of times when I used to work in tech support uh, doing uh, you know, troubleshooting for cable modems, tech support for cable modems, um, that is the one that would most cause problems with people's modems dropping offline. Um, now, my, mine right now is at a 48, and 48 is, is, is pretty good. Um, that number you want to have, or you want to make sure, is below. Um, you really don't want to have it any lower than, uh, or excuse me, any higher than a, a 55 or, or anything in the mid-50s. Once you start getting into... Um, an area where it's, you know, a 55, a 58, um, you're definitely going to start seeing problems with your modem, drop, drop, modem dropping off. And, and what that basically, that number means is, is that's, that's the number, or that's how hard your modem has to work or to broadcast or, or yell um, 
back at the your cable company to communicate to send send requests. So if you're trying to upload something, or you know you're just trying to send requests from you know to tell what, what web page you want to go to that type of thing, um, the higher that number climbs, your your reliability is, is definitely going to go down. Um, 58 is about your borderline. Um, I've seen situations where it's 60. That's very rare. Um, 58 is, is usually where your cutoff is. Uh, but that's uh, overall, uh, that's where uh, what you want to look at in that situation. And there are some other pages that you can go into that might give you a little bit more detail. Um, we're not going to go into those today. Um, but uh, hopefully that will kind of give you uh, some information, some education on how uh, modem levels work on a Motorola Surfboard modem. Uh, stop by again, uh, geek, uh, how -tos, uh, geek How Tos, and uh, uh, we will uh, be updating in the future.